Thank you. Thank you. This uh, first song we wrote, we were on acid and um, the guitarist was in the bathroom puking and we wrote this song. I woke the same as any other day except a voice was in my head. It said seize the day Drop the blade and watch the rolling heads. Thanks, that was cool as shit. Thanks for letting me do that. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. I always, I always wanted to see what it'd be like to come up like a rock singer and shit, you know? All cool. I wish I could come up cool like that as a comic, man. I'd be like, thank you. This uh, first joke I wrote. I was on acid, and uh, I was in the parking lot digging my underwear out of my ass. And, uh, I wrote this joke. So I'm outside, I got a wedgie. I'm digging it out, right? I'm pulling it out because I got a wedgie, so I'm digging it out. This girl walks by, she's like, hey, how come you keep picking your seat? I said, I'm picking my seat because my ass can't go. <laughs> All right, I'll tell it again. <laughs> so I'm outside, I got a wedgie. <laughs> I'm digging it out, right? <laughs> See, comedy doesn't work that way. Music does, you sing one song, sing it again. I can't tell one joke. <laughs> tell it again. We know all the words. I'd love to come up here all rock and roll and shit, grab the mic. I am China Man. <laughs> With my Fu Manchu making fun of all of you. <laughs> oh. Maybe next time. I'll just come right out. Wanted to be a singer. When I say I wanted to be a singer, I mean I wanted to be a rock singer. I didn't want to be one of those, yeah, I learned in choir. I had strange desire. May y'all would say, hey man, are you gay? Tell me why. You always got the other guys in the band, right? They gotta help them out. Are you looking for a hardcore spank? <laughs> but I might cry. Are you looking for a ballpark fray? <laughs> Tell me why. Do you want to turn the other way? I want it that way. Oh, oh, that's not rock and roll. What is that? That's called cock blocking music, is what that's called. You sing that, you will cock block yourself. For those of you who don't know what cock blocking is, all the kids are doing it nowadays. If your buddy's at the bar, he's talking to a cute chick, it's your duty to walk up and say shit like, hey dude, how's your syphilis? <laughs> That's a cock block. Animals will cock block you too. My girlfriend, she has one of them dogs that sleeps between us in the middle of the night. One of them cock blocker spaniels. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Wake up with my dick in the dog's back. What the hell's going on? I feel dirty. Oh, no. I want to sing some rock and roll. Shove the music down your throat, Metallica. Hey, 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 ah, pay no mercy, ah, pay no mercy there for me. Ah. That's a Metallica lyric. Ah. That's how you can tell it's a Metallica song, right? Sleep with one eye open. Ah. 
so I done the unforgiven. Nah. <laughs> give me you, give me five, give me that what I desire. <laughs> Just like a... Just like an Aerosmith song, right? Sometimes the only reason you know it's an Aerosmith song because somewhere in the song you hear... And you go, wow, that's Steven Tyler, all right? I could steal just to hear you breathing. And I wonder what you're thinking. Your mouth's wide open, your breath is stinking. Now, now. You better eat a tic tac now. I used to love Van Halen, man. You remember, you, remember, you remember when David Lee Roth was the lead singer of Van Halen? You remember? Remember how cool we used to think he was? And remember how wrong we were? Remember that? <laughs> you can always tell when David Lee Roth is singing too because the song always sounds like it hurts. Like he's got emphysema or some shit like that. She saw the look in his eyes. And she knew better, he wanted her tonight. <laughs> hey man, where's my inhaler? <laughs> Panama! <laughs> Fuck it, I quit, man. That shit hurts. I quit. <laughs> I was... I was li Take two. <laughs> we'll just act like we left off on the other joke. Fuck it, man, I quit. Fuck it, I quit. <laughs> All right. Sweating like a fag eating a hot dog in front of his parents. I am sweating. Like <laughs> sweating like a fag eating a hot dog in front of his parents. <laughs> I do that one twice, because uh, I know if I don't, you'll fuck it up tomorrow. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating. Some fag likes to eat hot dogs. <laughs> Vagina man. I was listening to an ACDC CD the other day. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed that like three of their songs are like bumper sticker slogans or shit they probably read off the wall somewhere. I felt cheated. <laughs> For those about to rock fire, we salute you. Have a drink on me. Rock and rolling noise pollution. It's like bumper stickers, slogan, man. I saw, I saw a sign in the bathroom. I thought I'd make a great song for him. It's called uh, Employees Must Wash Hands Before Returning to Work. <laughs> or you're fired. <laughs> I saw one at the mall that would be cool. It's called Pardon the Dust, Where Am I Living? Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. My woman said, you should listen to some of my CDs, see if you can get their voices down. She likes Matchbox 20, which uh, Rob Thomas has got a cool voice, but after too much of him, he sounds like a goat. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. I know right now you can't tell, but stay a while and baby, then you'll see a different part of me. You eating grass in my backyard with goats and we are in love. <laughs> you 
Then she said, if you would have written this song, we'd make love every day. Your body is a wonderland. I'd lose my hands. Your body is a wonderland. I saw the guy who wrote the song. I bet you he ain't getting it every day. <laughs> Not when he's singing. You ever watch him? He's like, your body is a wonderland. I'd lose my hands. Dude, you are cock blocking yourself. <laughs> Who taught you how to sing, Joe Cocker Blocker? Dude, you're gonna poke an eye out. <laughs> then I heard this band, Good Charlotte. You ever hear them? Yeah. First time I heard him, I thought, is this good Charlotte or just bad Green Day? What is it? <laughs> you think they're gonna be hardcore, right? They come out, they got tattoos and shit all over, right? They got piercings, man. You think they put their guitars on, you can, man, they're gonna rock the fucking house, right? And you hear, this is your anthem, throw all your hands up. Don't wanna be you, don't wanna be just like you. And I'm thinking, where'd these guys' balls go? What the hell happened? <laughs> That's what happens when you get pierced down there, you know what I mean? <laughs> you lose a couple octaves. <laughs> For real, I'm sure they sounded hardcore at first, right? This is your anthem, throw all your hands up. Come on, pierce it, man. Don't wanna be you. <laughs> Don't wanna be. Maybe I shouldn't have got the Dick Cheney. Then you got your country music. No, don't get me wrong. Hey, I like country music as much as every other Chinese guy. <laughs> Swing your partner by the toe. Get to a girl for the go. Oh, she fell down. You okay? Sorry, my dear. You okay? There's a hole down over here. Be careful. There's, there's a hole down. Okay, okay. There's a hold down so you go around. Uh, uh. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't even think I was. <laughs> she bang, she bang. I go crazy, she move, she move. <laughs> I better go before I cock brock myself. Country music's okay for a couple songs. After too many of them, it all sounds like yodeling to me. Comes when they sing. They do this with their voice. Like Garth Brooks, he's got a cool voice, but after a while, it's like. And I, I'm glad I didn't know the way he don't end, the way he don't go. the mountain guy from The Price is Right. <laughs> I thought I'd, thought I'd tell you because I knew on the way home you'd be like, shit, what was that song? I knew this. I didn't know none of the other shit he was singing up there. But I knew O D U D O. That's my cliffhanger. I think I didn't become a singer because I grew up listening to the wrong shit. You know, you gotta have influences, right? I should have been listening to The Doors, The Who, The Beatles, you know, groups from the 70s, The Stones, you know? Not me, I grew up in the 80s, I was listening to, uh, you can dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind, because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. We can dance, we can dance, everybody's taking a chance. She blinded me with science! She blinded me with science! Take on me Take me on 
Don't act like you don't know this shit. <laughs> you all know it. Yeah. And that's why you're not in a band either. We all memorize the wrong shit. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the... That's the shit I want to do. How cool is that? I want to be so famous that you guys memorize half of my shit. You'll even do it for me. I do half the work, I get paid full price. I mean, think about it. At a concert, they go, you guys sing. And everybody sings. Nobody goes to the front ticket booth afterwards. Hey, can I get $10, man? I sang about half of them songs in there. I could have done that shit in my car. I'll just give you guys the punchlines two weeks before I get here. I'll be like, why'd the chicken cross the road? You guys rock. Good night. I'd be in the bar all pissed off. Shit, man, I thought more people knew that joke. Some drunk asshole comes up to me. Hey, man, whatever happened to that chicken you were talking about? Like, you just asked about him and then you left. He didn't make it. <laughs> Wish I had grown up in the 90s. At least the 90s, they had grunge music. That was influential stuff, wasn't it? Pearl Jam. Jeremy spoke in clear today. Hey, hey, I know I'm still alive. Then they had that one song where you couldn't understand shit. <laughs> then ever since then, you haven't been able to understand shit in any of their songs. <laughs> Remember that first song? It was a beautiful song. I want to see you I want to see you What? <laughs> Is just me or do you think Creed called him up? Hey, we're gonna sing your old shit so everyone can understand it. And then we'll break up. This brings tears to my eyes, my sack of rice. That's the Chinese version. It's called my sack of rice. Goes out to my mom. I used to be in a band, you guys, I'm sure you, I'm sure you guys have heard of us. It was an Asian band, uh, In Chink. You guys ever hear of In Chink? You hear them? Back there, you heard of us? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Wu was in the band. How did you guys know? A lot of you have heard of us. Wu played guitar. Wu Hu played bass. That was his brother. I remember it always pissed me off every concert, all the women. Woo! Woo I'm like, how about Chinaman, baby? Somebody screamed at yeah. me. <laughs> you still scream for Woo, too. Either Chinaman or Woo. All right. Nobody screamed for me or the gay drummer, Flaming. You know him? We broke up because my slow cousin, something long, tried to join the band. He plays a circle. Used to be a triangle, but he beat the fuck out of it. Now, now it's a circle. It sucked being in an Asian band. You know how difficult it is to get 20,000 people to leave their shoes at the front door every concert?
We did have one hit song, I'm sure you guys have heard it. My name is Kid, Kid Wong. <laughs> pow, gung, gung, pow, chow, ming, chow, ming, chinky, 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 was a chinky with nunchucks and fortune cookies. <laughs> pow, gung, gung, pow, chow, ming, chow, ming, chinky, 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 was a chinky with nunchucks and fortune cookies. <laughs> my name to Kid Walk. <laughs> Till I found out that backwards Kid Walk spells cow dick. <laughs> Thank God I saw my tattoo in the mirror. <laughs> Before I did anything stupid. <laughs> I felt like Ozzy Osbourne discovered some stupid shit he'd done 20 years ago. What the fuck is that in the mirror? <laughs> it's a kid walking with a cow dick. <laughs> Sharon! There's fucking cow dick on my own mouth. Uh, it's, not, it's not fucking coming on. It's <laughs> gonna leave a mark. Don't scream for woo. <laughs> and yeah, see, she got it. She's getting some afterwards. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sweating like a lesbian eating a taco in front of her parents. I mean, <laughs> sweating like a lesbian eating a taco in front of her parents. <laughs> I'll do them all twice if you want, folks. I'm a comedy whore. <laughs> You'd be like, it was a two hour show, but he did everything twice. It was really only an hour. <laughs> what a round of applause for both the other comics you saw tonight, huh? John Mott was up here, Dave Rout. John Mott drinking his spoopy food drink. Did you see that? He had a pina colada. Right here. They call me China Man, because I. Well, nobody remembers Mark Britton the next day after drinking, so that's why we do it. <laughs> My mom is Chinese, which makes me half Chinese, from the waist up. <laughs> My dad's black. <laughs> My birth certificate says that I'm cock Asian. Once you go yellow, you never leave a fellow. <laughs> One hour later, you're still horny. <laughs> I'd like to invite all the women back to my room afterwards for a game of gobbledygook. <laughs> it's like spin the bottle. I always win. Gobbledygook, that's me. Where's my Asian people? Any Asian people here tonight? Where's my ninjas at? My ninjas in the house? Ninja, please. None of my ninjas showed up to support my ass. Asian people don't usually show up to comedy shows. We're very serious people. When we laugh, we can't see shit. <laughs> hey, where my beer go? I tap $175, I drink two beer. Next time I bring designated watcher. You watch my shit, I rap. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I grew up here in the U.S. though, so I, I don't really feel Asian. I, uh, I don't think I, I don't really think I feel Asian. Feel me? <laughs> Cock blockers? What the hell's going on? With that? That was my mom's dream. When I was a little girl, I used to dream of marrying an American man, moving to the United States and having American kids. And I did it all, I did all my dream. <laughs> I said, Mom, that's great, but you realize we're still Chinese, right? <laughs> yes, but you're disoriented. <laughs> She never taught us none of the Chinese language, none of the Chinese culture, none of that stuff. Even growing up, the food we were eating wasn't real Chinese food. I didn't know hot dog fried rice was not a real Chinese dish. <laughs> Till I was 17. <laughs> and I went and ordered it. <laughs> yeah, I like it to go order. Can I get some hot dog fried rice? <laughs> hot dog fried rice. Could you want hot dog fried rice? <laughs> Next time I'm not raft and walk at the same time. <laughs> you know how difficult it is to be Asian and try to look cool? I know you have no idea. <laughs> I bet you think the same thing I think when you see an Asian person. You think, hey, I bet you he could do some math. which I can, because I have an abacus in my head. <laughs> 275! <laughs> That's why I put beads in my Fu Manchu. The remainders. <laughs> Remainder four. <laughs> oh, Remainder three, piece of corn. Straight, that's it. Straight this way or straight that way. I'm a little upset with my haircut. I went and got it today. There's a hole in my fucking haircut. He put it in the back so I wouldn't see it. Last time I get my hair cut by a straight guy. Cock blogger. The Asian guy with a perm. <laughs> Dread <the> rocks. <laughs> Asian guy with a mullet. <laughs> a mullet. For those of you who don't know what a mullet is. <laughs> cornrows. <laughs> hey man, is that a Chinese dude with some cornrows? Hey man, are those cornrows you're wearing? Ninja, please. This is not corn roll. He's an egg roll. <laughs> the small one on the side are spring roll. They call me Kung Pao Doggy Dog. Don't be this on my shit, oh. <laughs> you say that, you get half off for nail set and nail salon. Apparently, that's where you'll find my people nowadays. <laughs> Remember when we showed all the dry cleaners? Remember that shit? <laughs> I do. I used to get teased about it in school. How'd you get this shirt so white? Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> we don't own them no more, man. I went to the dry cleaner looking for my people. Where's my peeps? <laughs> they are down the street, the block or two, the nail salon. <laughs> See his two slanted eyes behind the mask. How you do today? <laughs> you need your nail done? One nail? <laughs> you need your nail done? <laughs> Square or round? 
Would you think I was a fag if I said square? <laughs> no, I think you're a fag because you're here. <laughs> Already there, might as well get them done. They never take off the mask either, do they? No. You never recognize them in public. It's like wrestling. Remember the dude with the mask and wrestling? They could never get the mask off of him. Come on, take off his mask. <laughs> they get all excited, they get halfway off. We always thought we knew who it was. Hey, hurry back, that's my neighbor, Phil. <laughs> Same way in the nail salon. Come on, take off your mask, I know who you are. No, you never get it off, never. <laughs> Mom? Is that hot dog fried rice? I love that stuff. <laughs> sweating like R. Kelly at a Girl Scout meeting. I'm sweating. <laughs> stopping the party. I feel like an idiot watching Sesame Street in my room by myself. Then when their friends come over, all of a sudden dad's cool now, right? My dad does voices for Dragon Ball Z on the Cartoon Network. I'll go get him, he'll do some voices for you. Hey dad, come out here and do some voices for me and my friends, please. Don't worry, he won't get upset. He didn't do anything during the day, he just sleeps. Meanwhile, back in the back bedroom. Whoa, 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 what the fuck is all that fucking noise going on? There? That's me waking up, right? I go to the front door. I'm like, man, it's bright outside. What are you kids doing up so early? We just ate lunch. What can I do for you? I tell my friends you did voices for Dragon Ball Z on the Cartoon Network. Well. Like that kid. <laughs> yeah, Dan, will you do some of them for? Remember the, uh, how about the guy, the big purple monster, the uh, Berter? Hey, James, how about the purple spiral flash attack? Huh? Dan, do uh, the guy with the long white beard, uh, the Grand Kai. Oh, yeah, man, if you win this tournament, you get lessons from me, because I'm the Grand Kai. Huh? Dan, do some other ones they might know. Uh, how about Scooby Doo and Shaggy? Like Zoic Scoob, we better hurry up and get back to the boss. Boss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do one last one. Yeah. You remember that big guy? Remember uh, the movie The Princess Bride? That big guy, Andre the Giant, do his voice. I was in the princess stables in that For my voices. I said to myself, down for a while, so I'll ever find the lady. Hello, lady. <laughs> okay, Dad. Uh, I told you. Okay, Dad, you can go back in now. Ew. Don't book that shitty gig. Sharon! Did you book the shitty gig at the front door, sir? I'm not fucking doing it. I'm the king of fucking comedy. I do it for him every time. I used to, I used to 
used to have other jobs. I hated my other I used to work at Walmart. Um, yeah, I was a checker, uh, Chinese checker. I used to jump over the other checkers. They fired me. Apparently, you can only jump one checker at a time. Walmart play round eye rules. That's a joke, by the way. If you're ever in Walmart or any other place to see a checker, Asian, don't be like, hey, Chinese checker. <laughs> hey, I ripped your shit up twice. <laughs> You'd be so embarrassed you pay for the shit. <laughs> Ninja, please. Paint houses. I sucked at that. Paint houses. Asian people, especially Chinese people, we don't like to do construction. We're still tired from that damn wall. You can see it from outer space. <laughs> paint. I sucked at painting houses. I was so bad at it, they wouldn't even let me handle any of the paint. I had to handle most of the caulk. <laughs> caulk. It's a tube-like thing. White sticky stuff comes out the front, caulk. I didn't even know what I was doing with my caulk at first. My friends were getting pissed. Hey, dude, you're getting your caulk all over the place. So come over here, grab my caulk, and show me how to use it. Well, he did. I sling caulk like a pro now. They used to call me the Caucasian. I brought my caulk with me. If you want to see it, I'll whip it out. What do you say? Right, right here in my big black sack. What do you think about that right there, huh? You ever see anything 12 inches in white? Well, here it is. Huge. Oh. Put your caulk in one of these, huh? Once you do, you'll never go back to squeezing your caulk by hand. I, tell you I like to put my caulk in this because whenever it clicks, I know it's coming. I notice since I pulled my caulk, I ain't even staring at it. Does it like touch my caulk? Dangle my caulk in front of your face, come on. <laughs> not, no, no, not the tip, tip is very sensitive. <laughs> it's obvious from that that you've not handled much caulk. <laughs> Let me give you some tips for handling some caulk. Let's say for instance you have a crack. And you'd like to fill it with some caulk? <laughs> you got a thin crack, don't shove thick caulk into that crack. You'll ruin that crack for life. The rest of you, if there's a crack and that crack already has some caulk in it, I know you'll probably be thinking, hey, maybe I could just put my caulk on top of that caulk. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> Bullshit. Your caulk will fall off. You go touching your caulk to anybody else's caulk. There's your caulk on the floor all dried up and shriveled. The other caulk is still in that crack. Caulk blocking. You gotta pull the caulk out of that crack before you shove your caulk in that crack. They got a tool that'll help you pull the caulk out of the crack. Is it a caulk sucker? I think they call them. Sometimes you pull the caulk out of the crack, you hear a sound from the crack like <laughs> We used to call that a pussy fart. <laughs> that don't really have anything to do with the rest of the joke. I thought you guys would love that one. They dig it at the nursing home. They rush the stage, pussy fart, yeah?
call security. Hey man, in about five minutes, that guy right over there. <laughs> then one of his wheels got stuck. <laughs> Never mind, man, I got it. I know what you're asking yourself. Hey, Tiny Man, you got that pussy heart joke on CD? Well, hell yeah. <laughs> My CD's only $10, you guys. It's over an hour long. It's got about 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the stuff you saw here tonight. My singing stuff's on here. My Chinese family stuff's on here. The last stuff that I'm gonna do, my last song is gonna be on here. My caulk is on here. That explains why it's over an hour long. <laughs> if you buy my CD, please copy it and give it to your friends. <laughs> I mean that shit, folks, all right? I'm the only one who owns it. If you're the only person listening to it, that shit don't help me. That's like one hand clapping in a forest. Burn, burn, give. This one's yours for touching my car. I'll even sign it. Thank you for touching my car. I take Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. I hope you brought those Chinaman. You don't take American Express, baby. I take Orient Express. <laughs> I sell t-shirts as well. Why do you sell t-shirts, Chinaman? Well, I don't have health insurance. But for only $10, you can provide health insurance, dental, education, housing, and every month I'll put a picture of eight and nine on the website, show you who you support. <laughs> My t-shirt say, got crack? <laughs> well, put some caulk in it. <laughs> got a picture of me holding my big black caulk right there. My website is mesofunny.com. That's for real, not me so horny. I don't know what happens if you type me so horny. I only know what happens if you type me so funny. Get on my email list, I'll email you back. Dear Chinese man, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my email at the bottom. I sent you two emails back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem with your web server or something. Sometimes I type addresses wrong when I dot com them. Anyway, epic man, what's up? How's your sons? My girlfriend's pregnant too, and I'm about to be a father. And if I have a son, guess what I'm gonna call him? I'm gonna name him Zero. <laughs> I practice my voices at home. I'm sure you'd find kind of odd if you live with me. NBC Nightly News, I'm Tom Brokaw. <laughs> Join us tonight on NBC Nightly News. We find out shiitake mushrooms are Shiite Muslim. <laughs> Which one is really more harmful for your colon? <laughs> as well, join us when we explore Arapaho. Is it the name of an Indian tribe or the new nickname for Little Kim? <laughs> Today, Michael Jackson, king of pop, told the press that he likes 29-year-olds, apparently because there's 20 of them. <laughs> my fellow Americans, my fellow Americans, today, with great sadness, I tell you that Southern Asia has been hit by a 30-foot salami. <laughs> in an effort to aid in salami cleanup. We have called Hickory Farms and asked that they send crackers. <laughs> if you or any of your friends know where the rest of the laughter for that last joke has gone, <laughs> please call our 800 number. Help us solve this unsolved mystery. Hi. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell from Police's Wildest Video Chase. <laughs> Buckle up, you're in for the ride of your life. <laughs> El Paso, Texas. This Chinaman thought it'd be funny if you went joyriding in a car downtown, playing games with the cops at high speeds. 
Well, now he's headed downtown where the only game he's going to be playing is some butthole golf. <laughs> Hello, I'm governor of California. <laughs> oh, how are you? If I'm elected president of the United States, I've already told Maria we're going to annex a country in Europe. That way, we can keep an eye on all those shady fuckers over there. I think that we should annex a country that will let us move the capital over to there. We will keep the same initials, USA, United States of Austria. <laughs> I used to love him in his movies, man. He had the best movies. You could always, you could always tell when it was going to be a good movie, too, because he'd have to do three things in every movie, right? He'd have to do his pain yell at least once, which is... Ouch, my hand is stuck. That's a manly yell. If my hand was stuck, I'd be like, oh! Not Arnold. Me right next to him. Save the bitch first! I was screaming because his screaming was hurting my ears. Another thing Arnold says every movie at least once. Get out! There's a bomb in there. Get out! Get to the chopper, get out! <laughs> Trying to make some extra money. I got a stage. Some lights. Pull. Get out! Another thing Arnold says every movie, at least once he has to say, Grab my hand! That could be the movie trailer. That's how you'd know it was a good movie, right? You'd be there with your friends in the movie theater looking. This summer, get out! He is coming. <laughs> to save the day. Grab my hand! Radar starts Friday. That looks like a good movie, man. I think he should play Jesus in his next film, man. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> people get a little weird about it. You ever notice you get a little religious and people step away from you, like God's gonna strike him with lightning? <laughs> like they don't trust in the Lord's aim? <laughs> like he's not up in heaven. Hey, Jesus, watch this, nothing but chink. saying Arnold is Jesus. I'm saying other actors have played Jesus. Arnold is an actor. At least for this joke he is. <laughs> Remember the Bible when they're gambling in the church? Remember? They're gambling. They had that flea market going on. Jesus got upset. He bust in. <laughs> you can't gamble in here. <laughs> Quit laughing. This is God's temple. <laughs> Get out. Remember he's walking on water? I'm walking on water. <laughs> Peter was in the boat. Master, I'm coming out there to see you. No. Help, I'm drowning, I can't swim. Grab my hand. <laughs> and of course, the worst part, the ending scene. You crucify him, but I wash my hands of it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Three days later. Then we can make a second movie called J2. <laughs> Judgment Day. <laughs> I 
make shows out of the Bible all the time, man. I saw one the other day that was pretty blatant. I was watching it. Oh, wow, they took that from the Bible. You remember the story of uh, Isaac and Abraham? Remember? Abraham gave God a son, a beautiful baby boy named Isaac. He hadn't been able to have a son, so finally God said, here's a son for you. And he gave it to him. He loved him, and he was like, man, best thing ever. Then one day, God said, Abraham, if you love me, you will sacrifice Isaac for me. He's like, no way. <laughs> so he tells him, he's like, I got to sacrifice. His son's like, all right, let's do what we'll do for God. So then they get up on this hill, right? They got it all going on. They got the altar, the burning fire, and he gets his son lays down on the altar, and he's about ready to kill his son, and you hear God go, Abraham, you've been punked. <laughs> You want to hear some music before I go, huh? Let's, let's bring on my guitars. This is Rue, a buddy of mine named Rue, you guys. Get, let's hear it for Rue. Everybody go, Rue! <laughs> See, not woo, Rue. Who said woo? No, it's Rue. Maybe it is woo, and I'm just mispronouncing it. <laughs> All right, I, uh, uh, I met Rue about five years ago on KLAQ, and I'd like to thank KLAQ for giving me time every time I'm in town. And, uh, we always thought it'd be neat if they had a karaoke. You know how they have karaoke at like celebrity houses? You go there, you know? Well, I, mean, I don't know if you know how they have it, but uh, I do. But I read that they have like real live bands doing karaoke. Wouldn't that be cool if you walked in and you saw, you know, Arnold walking up, he's like, okay. I'm going to sing one song. This is for Maria. Maria, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, let's do it. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. Oh, no, not everybody has got a body like you. But I got to live twice before I give my heart away. And I know all the games you play. Because I play them too. <laughs> oh, baby, I need some time off from that emotion. Some time to pick my heart up off the floor. I got my heart. <laughs> and when that love comes down with our devotion, gonna take the strong man, baby, but I show him to the fucking door. <laughs> because I got to have faith. I got to have faith, the faith, the faith, the yeah, yeah. I've been coming here to El Paso since I was 19 years old, you guys, all right? I am 35 now. I'm 35 now, so I've been coming here for 22 years. Piece of corn. <laughs> but uh, uh, I wrote a song about a uh, favorite street of mine to go hang out at here in El Paso, and uh, you might know it. It's a Creed song that I took and made for my own. Let's do it. Maybe you'll get to sing too. Oh. 
Thanks, Karen. <laughs> I do it because it's free as long as I'm on stage. <laughs> Bartender, don't charge me. <laughs> All right. <Come> on. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, hey! That's why the seats were painted blue like SeaWorld. This is the splash zone. <laughs> I get easily distracted, I guess. I have ADD. You know the ADD theme song, right? ADD, easy as one, two. Hey, look at that over there. That's kind of cool. I must focus. Maybe she focus both, huh? <laughs> All right. practice my voices at home. It's hot up here, man. Sweating like, I'm sweating like, 
Mike Tyson had a spelling bee. <laughs> Ludacris, L-O-O-D. Ludacris. <laughs> that word is ludicrous. Mike, Mike Tyson got into a fight at a pizza hut. Were you watching CNN? He was on CNN, he said, I was inside the pizza hut and the waitress asked me, she said, you want a box for the rest of that pizza? And I said, <laughs> That's my pizza, bitch. drinker. I like to poke a little smot every now and then. That's code in case cops are in the crowd. <laughs> Poking smot, isn't that bestiality? Get him. <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't poke the smot. No, but I know. <laughs> Smoking pot, for those of you who still don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Is that some new shit, honey? Are we out of the loop? <laughs> Go get some smut so we can poke it after the show. He comes back with something round and furry. I'm not poking that, you poke it first. Then... <laughs> Let me try. Wow, poking smut is fun. You gotta sniff your smut and make sure it's good. You guys buying dirt weed? Good stuff. After like two hits, everything slows down, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> Have some more. philosophical questions that have no answer, right? Hey, if a garbage man goes to the bathroom, does he have to wash his hands before returning to work? <laughs> How do blind people know that they're done wiping their ass? <laughs> If a girl gives a blowjob and she spits, would you call her an Indian head giver? <laughs> no more plot for me, Grandma. I'm done. Because it's her shit we're smoking, right? <laughs> it's prescription. <laughs> I had to teach her how to inhale. That was weird. Everybody knew I was the only one who knew how to inhale. So they go, you got a teacher. I'm like, all right, Grandma, come here. And watch this. See how it gets orange? That's how you know it's working when it gets orange. See that? It gets orange. You got to hold it in. Try it. You try it. 
No, 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 you're doing it wrong. Let me show you again. <laughs> Pot blockers. <laughs> so finally, I went out and bought her one of those little water pipe things. You know what I'm talking about? Bought, no, not a, a bong was like $50. I couldn't afford a bong, so I bought a bing. <laughs> Shit, I burned my brush. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma, I should have bought a bong. You bought a bing. 